I think I'm his wife. I'm doing too much. Like, where? Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Damlala, and I am super duper happy to be back here again with another gist from the Baby Ninja All Stars. Today is Sunday, which is the like eviction day, and Adekole is part of the nominees for today's eviction. Now, I saw Venita crying and explaining things to Kimo Pra, and I was like, okay, why is this girl crying? Yesterday, during the party they had, Venita was not part of the people in the club, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? This has never happened before. I've never for once seen any housemates not make it to saturday night party because it's always a vibe okay but she wasn't among them so after the party i saw adekule you know inside the lounge sleeping and i'm like what happened to your matrimonial bed why are you not on the bed with venita and then venita was seen on the bed crying and people were trying to you know pet her tell her it's okay stop crying i'm like what is going on here now let's not forget the parts where um the housemate had the pepsi task yesterday and anytime pepsi is doing a task guys it's always amazing i hope one day pepsi will sign me i hope one day they will sign me nothing impossible for god to do all right so um while they were trying to you know um get themselves fixed up for all the tasks get themselves into different groups they, they usually have this box whereby they go in and pick a paper on that paper to be able to know the particular group they belong to so i think alex picked like two paper or three papers and according to her she picked for a levi you guys can can imagine i don't know why alex would do that let's not waste time on this story so she picks for a levi uh a levi already picks for herself so that means Levi has like two papers for herself. At the point, all the house we were trying to, you know, you know, fix a deal for themselves. Please let me join this group. Please let me join this group. I don't want to be in this group. I don't want this particular group. They were trying to do that. I think people that came into, you know, um, the situation and tried to rearrange the whole thing. But then I saw um, Alex and Adekunle and um, Benita exchanging words. They were, you know, arguing. When Alex was calling Adekunle a liar. That got Adekunle really upset. So Desha had a dragging session yesterday. The topic today is not about the drama that happened between Alex and Adenita. No, I'm actually focusing on Adenita, but I had to bring, you know, my story from that angle first. So now, Adekunle is not really in a good mood, right? Adekunle is having some very mixed feelings because it's up for nomination and anything can happen. It could, you know, leave the house. Don't forget that a lot of narrative have been going on in the house that Venita controls Adekunle, Adekunle is Venita's toy boy, this, this, that, 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 a lot of narratives have been going on about that. And I want to ask you guys this question, do you guys think Venita controls Adekunle? Do you guys think that Venita sees Adekunle as his son? Do you guys think that Venita is the mommy or Venita is the husband, Adekunle is the wife? Do you guys have that, you know, um, opinion about your relationship? Let me hear your thoughts at the comment section. And let's now go back to Venita crying. Venta was now actually trying to explain to Kim Oprah what really happened because everybody was trying to, you know, get to what really happened between Venita and Adekunle. Apparently, it turns out that um, according to what Venita said, she was like, um, yesterday during their task when they were trying to prepare for the Pepsi task, she, Adekunle and Ilebaide were in the same group. So she was trying to actually get Adekunle to, you know, do something in the group, do something, like have something to do. But Adekunle wasn't really taking the task serious, you know. Probably because of the drama that happened yesterday between him, Alex and Benita. So probably he's not just in a very good state of mind. He's not having it. He's not really in a good mood. Maybe that's why. Because Adekunle is one person that takes tasks really serious. That's what they call him task And he's always coming up at the top. So I think it's because he's not just in a very good mood with the whole situation. You know, the fact that he's up for nomination. The fact that he had issues with Alex. Alex was dragging him. I think that was what happened. So he wasn't really taking the task serious. And Venita was not happy about it. Levi was even the one trying to, you know, pull them together, trying to make sure things are working together. And 
when I got into the arena for the task, I didn't really out hold the inside that you know what this is what I want to do. And my side is like, are you serious? Do you know how many minutes we have? Like we don't we, we have to like go on stage and perform very soon. You're telling me that you want to now do this. Why does it have to be now? What happened to the time that was given to us to prepare for the task? Why didn't you try to contribute? Why didn't you try to do anything? You know. So um Adepunle could not really say anything. So on stage, their performance was not really wow like that. And Benita too, on the other hand is one person that knows how to do very well when it comes to tasks. Like she gives her hundred percent. But on stage I yesterday I was very shocked. I'm like, is that is that Benita is not feeling fine or what? What happened to Benita? Why is she so down, so peripheric? Why is she not, you know, energetic, you know, during this task? What's going on? You know, I was actually very surprised because these two people are really good when it comes to tasks. But Ilebay was the one, you know, doing the most. So she said that actually really got to her and that was what really made her down and then she was having a headache and the headache was so much and she was started feeling very sick because anytime she's in a lot of emotions it gets to her and then her body will start you know getting somehow and she'll start running temperatures and then yeah so that was why she couldn't make it to the party and aside that also she she was just thinking about everything the fact that um she told angel to please um uh, put adequate for part of me and you know she mercy they decided to betray her trust and they went to go and put someone else for part of me angel doesn't really care about her anymore and then she remembered during a pepper them season it was even mercy and diana that nominated her you know for possible eviction and she got evicted from the show eventually so uh, that mercy is someone that she regards as a friend so imagine the people that she actually came in with you know into this particular show the big Nigeria all stars i'm not really with her anymore that even she she and she are not really in good terms anymore i'm not really in talking terms anymore that she is going to go and meet adekunle to be telling adekunle stops that she's controlling she's ordering him around you know she's acting as if um adekunle is a boy toy you know and there, there have been a lot of narratives about this particular thing and me i honestly speaking i don't really know if truly that is what the entire is doing what the side i'm seeing you know from my own perspective is that they are actually really good partner and they are they are very compatible i think they can kind of understand themselves you know i've never seen benita raise a voice at adekunle before knowing the kind of person benita is benita gives respect to adekunle you know adekunle might be a very calm person you know adekunle might not be the kind of person that wants to actually drag this woman very calm person towards um benita wants to be the sweet man you know wants to be that man that really cares for you know is woman that's why sometimes you see i definitely would wash clothes for benita i don't say anything wrong in a man washing his woman's clothes there's nothing wrong in it at times that i definitely would put at times that benita will even cook too so i don't know where you know the old narrative of benita controlling adequately is from i know benita can be all help me do this help me do that you know she can be all sometimes very authoritative but not extreme not like extreme she gives respect to adequately she respects adequately and that's the truth maybe i'm not really seeing it from your angle maybe i'm seeing it from a different angle if you have a contrary opinion to what i've said so far about this particular shit you can actually drop your comments at the comment section because sincerely i don't see where benita is controlling adequately like the way people say and she was even saying that um now that she needs someone to just stay with her that she's in this particular mood adequately staying away from her because I definitely feel that she wants to be alone. She needs to be alone, you know. And and that is not it. Like she needs Adekunle to be with her. I mean, I think that Adekunle actually right now is also in his own um space because he has a lot of things going through his mind. He's probably thinking, what if I go? What if I don't go? You know, he has his own situation going on with him. So I think he just wanted to just leave Benita for the time being. Because Benita was saying that um, imagine you no, know, I went to go and pack all his things from her wardrobe, like he doesn't want to have anything to do with her anymore, like he's distancing a, distancing away from her, you know, and she has this PTSD for rejection or something, you know, guys, guys, I just hope that they, they are going to be better, I hope Adekunle doesn't go home so that there can be room for conversation because Adekunle right now is, is not happy that he's hope for possible eviction and it's Sunday, anything can happen, you know, so, I just hope he doesn't go home. I hope he doesn't go home because I would love them to actually really figure things out, you know, solve their problems and be good. Me, I'm all about good vibes. I don't know who's controlling who. I don't know if someone is controlling anybody, but I'm all about good vibes. Let everybody, let everybody be fine. Okay, that is it. We are.
have come to the end of today's video that's all i have for you guys for now many more are to come do not forget to subscribe to my channel like my video turn on post notification and tell me something great in the comment section love you guys yeah Bye.